Um, I'm going to talk about a series that we spoke about last week, and we spoke about episode one, and I encourage everyone to go away and write, watch the whole series. Um, did any of you watch the whole series of Grime Kids? Yeah, I, I finished it. Yeah, yeah. Grime Kids, yeah, finished that. I take it Murph didn't watch Grime Kids. Yeah, tell me about it. Murph, you really oh, like it? No, I, I, no. I really I want, do. I, do. I, I really I want you man to like in, interact with the culture. Like not everyday sci-fi, man. Sometimes like <laughs> it's fully geeked out here, bro. F Y is no, I'm fully geeked. But all right, look, I'm gonna be real with you, yeah. Grime kids to me, and it's gonna sound like a bit wet. It's probably what now. Maybe the word is not beautiful. This was one of the best. TV series I've watched in a little while that made me feel a certain way about my childhood. Like, I even read today, like, Maxwell D came out and put a post and he said, this is probably the closest you're going to get to how it was for us lot back then when we were coming up in the whole starting up, like, the little crews and all of that. And he made, like, an ode to people like the Wileys, about the Wileys, the Pays You Gold, all of those kind of people. And I felt like this embodied that perfectly. Mm. And like, I mean, you know when they when they start trying to do the spitting thing, yeah. And at first he can't spit, and like yeah, he tries yeah. to teeth Wiley's playbook, bro. I remember being that kid, bro. Like writing lyrics and they're making no sense at all. I had no flow, no delivery. Like I had no business trying to write lyrics. Bro, I found a book the other day where I wrote a lyric. Who's got like, lyrics? Like, Who's got bars? Yeah. Bro, I wrote a lyric, I clashed Wiley. Why was I clashing Wiley? But I thought that was the only way to make it big, innit? Like, and I thought everyone else was clashing Wiley, so I clashed him. Yeah, obviously he didn't. Like, it never ever happened. But I've got the bars of me clashing Wiley, yeah? And I, it, it made me think of my childhood. It made me think good things. No, it's, it's standard. I, I, I love the show because I didn't know. I thought it was just, it was based on Wiley and everyone else. That so exactly. Was, yeah, yeah, and that's what I thought. And I... I was like, because I assumed that it was going to be based on the whole road deep and the, the whole scene itself, I was I was a bit taken back. And I thought, oh, okay, it's not like that. Another crew trying to form in the same period of time where they're trying to become big. And and I think I like that even more. And and even the representations of those MCs, there was quite a few resemblance to, like, for example, Wiley looked like Wiley. Do you get what I mean? And and there's other little characters in there, but I felt it was pretty true um, to what I remember growing up with the grime scene. I think even that part when there was Genius and Slimzy uh, doing the radio, and I, like, I'm thinking about when it was Deja Vu days, when there was a guy called Diesel, when he used to climb the roof, and I got to him, bro, what are you doing? I need to come put Deja back on. The DTI took it off. Oh, I, I, Diesel, Diesel Power. Yeah, D Power, yeah. And I had to watch him doing it. He goes, me, chuck me this, chuck me that. But it was like that. All of it was like that. I don't know about the lift part. That, that's, that's a mad thing. But <laughs> that, that's, that's a mad thing. But like yeah. climbing roofs and like you're thinking this is your last last day and you're going to fall off the roof or something. And that, that's, that's that's how it was. The the radio scene spitting bars it was oh mate, it just brought back the memories of growing up, and and I and it's like if you if you're not into grime and all that kind of stuff you you probably won't care about the show, but if you grew up in that particular era where grime was being played and you were a massive follower of grime, and if you didn't kind of should I say, know the ins and outs what's happening on on the radio and everything else. This will actually make sense to you. It, it will. It will. It will kind of like wow. This is actually what happened. I thought. I thought. Was, I thought it was great. And it showed rhythm division, yeah. how it used to be, and that's where everybody used to go. I used to go a rhythm division to sell my record. That's like, bruv, man's got this tune. They go, and I used to tell him, take my tunes in it. You can take all the records. I've got three hundred. No, no, we will take twenty. I said, what do you mean twenty? And we won't pay you. Up front, we'll pay you when you sell them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I thought, what are you talking about? I, and I didn't know. So I was trying to be like, no, 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 I don't trust you, man. 
Um, but boy, they 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 found me they found me a week later. But um, so bring another hundred. So yeah, that's right, you bastards. But yeah, it was it, it was good. I, I'm just hoping that, and it's probably I know it's based on um on Target's book, but well, it's it's no, it's it's, it's, wait, it's sorry, inspired by Target's book. Inspired by Target's book, but I'm looking for another one because the, the scene during that is pretty damn big. You know, I want I want like I want heartless. I want we can't do heartless now because they did grime. But they can do a predated one. It's up to them. But you got to look at Meridian. You you got to look at East Connection. You got to look at. So, don't forget, so solid, man. So, I think it, so, so solid gave birth to that scene. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. In a way, because obviously you know. it was the heartless. It was don't forget it was heartless, and so solid had a bit of like a bit of beef to uh, a and certain page, extent. And page you go. And more page, page you go. Page you go. More, more page you go than heartless. That yeah, page you go heartless about had beef. But so solid were put were making a production which sounded a bit harder than what yeah. a garage was. Exactly. Then, and and then it informed everyone's like, oh, okay, what tune is this? Oh, this is Southman doing. Then while he had his thing going on around the corner, and, yeah, and then then other producers came along. Then Dizzy had his own sound, which was more like jungle sounds and kind of electric, and he was somewhere different. But his stuff sounded so new. He sounded new. It was ah, oh, I, I loved it. I, they should, they need to do a lot of these a lot of these kind of series is because I I would watch all of them. Yeah, it was it was nice. It was nice and so solid. There was the light, bro. That that radio station, the light, bro. I didn't the get thing, I didn't get it where I was, but the the man who used to bring in little wrote little tapes on that for me. Wow. But the, but the thing is, I was against I was against South, isn't it? <laughs> no, we always we always. So, so so yeah, you know how it is. So it was a case of no, nah, like, and I there was there's a few MCs that I liked. I even at one point I used to like I used to love Harvey because he used to spit fast. Cause at that time, you know, like because Harvey's got a quick flow, and I like that quick flow. And I didn't I, I, didn't I never rate Harvey, I never rate Harvey. No, I didn't I didn't rate him, rate him, but I did, I just I, I don't know. And Asher D, I didn't like his flow. Is it? Um, yeah, but who I did like, I liked face. He he was cold. He was so cold. I, I like um um Scat D. Scat D. Scat D was my yeah. guy. Yeah, Scott I liked him as guy. well. Yeah, Scat D was big. That's my guy. That's my guy. But yeah. not okay, not to be missing negative, yeah. Not to be missing negative. Go ahead. But so some of the acting was a bit questionable though. Some of the acting was poor. The the light skin, the light skin guy's dad, his acting was awful. Light skin guy's dad. No, but it all came out that he's not with the, the real dad. Oh, yeah. Well, it was, I, and even the 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 light skinned guy as well. He's out of the crew. He was the most wooden. Yeah, his acting was you get me, but but apart from that, I, you know, this this is probably their first acting gig, so I'm not gonna go hard on them. Yeah, yeah. but that's why I, I um, but that's why I said I, I I watched it and I felt more about the nostalgia about everything. I wasn't I was never I was never gonna be critical like oh, this is dead like you you don't make no sense. I, I actually just like as a as a piece, I thought it was all right. It was good, man. I enjoyed it. Yeah, even even the love story was I, I, it was a decent love story. Yeah. I liked it. And, and they were to be fair, even that they were touching on um, I mean, things like the sickle like cell. I, I, I didn't mean to put in the sickle sick cell. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you know, I know I thought of you in it. Oh, who? Kel, 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 and you know, you know, yeah, 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 exactly, yeah, 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 exactly. yeah. We, we just, spoke about that, yeah, yeah, you know I mean? yeah. It was deep, it was deep, it was deep. It was big though. Definitely recommend, without a doubt. Yeah, definitely. If you do get watch, like I said, it's on iPlayer. It's still obviously still showing now. It comes on off. Is it before or after um, Rap Game UK? I think it's after. I think Rap Game comes on at 9 o'clock and I think Grime Kids come at 10. So there's been two episodes that have come on if you want to watch it or that. Or all the episodes are on iPlayer. I was going to say So, Nate, so this show sounds like something my cousin was telling me about, but it was it came on a few years before this. Maybe you lot have seen it. So it's more like more our era when we were younger. Like So you know when our parents would always have like house parties yeah. randomly? Oh. So this, this show was showing... That side of things, like in the late eighties, early nineties. Oh when yeah, we were that, was, up. That, that was. Did you the... not watch that? 
Black yeah, History Month. They showed yeah, Carnival, how Carnival yeah, was yeah, back yeah, then. Yeah, 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 Westland, yeah, and all that. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, what you're yeah. saying kind of sounds like that. So I might every, have to every week delve I, into had, it as well. Every week I had a different story. Story, yeah. Yeah, it was massive. That was really, really good. That was really good. good. That, was, that was good. Yeah. yeah, no, yeah. To me, like I said, especially if you came up in our generation, you'd enjoy it because it's what 2001 bro, like. That was when us men were starting to go like they're raving and all those kind of things. Like, I'm talking about that first episode when they were wearing the machine and all that stuff, bro. I remember being that guy, innit? Like, and wearing hard soul shoes and having... Hard soul like, shoes, bro. Having to go, bro, to go and buy... And, bro, I was raving in kickers, bro. Hard soul kickers, bro. But I thought I was sick because they were hard soul. But it's, get me, like, you can't be the big man guy raving in kickers, fam. Like, you're not a child going to school, but that's what I used to go to, you know what I mean? Yeah. Them yeah. kind of things. Nah, it was good, man. But, yeah, I don't know. So- Go ahead, sorry, go. Ahead, sorry, go. No, I was just going to say it's mad because I was into the drum and bass, jungle, garage. Like, I was in every rave, one one love, um, King's Cross every month, every there. But it's mad because I wasn't really into grime, so it's almost like, like you, you know, just said, the him. soul solid was like the garage the peak, raves. Like... No, but you see that, that for me, that was see when I say like I say early like garage as it was progressing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. more than grime, more than like grime where you're like, like I, I was, I was. I don't feel, I, I didn't go to grime waves. I, I don't think I went to grime waves to be honest. Like that's 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 mm-hmm. a rich thing. I ain't never like rich. That's a your thing, isn't it? Like, that was my thing, bro. Like, I ain't that's never. Little been... things. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's yeah, the girl. Exactly. It's like the, yeah. the skanking, and I was on the sweet boy thing, and like, do you get me yeah. trying to walk around New Year's with a bottle of champs with Kel and all them thing there? That's what I was on. <laughs> I think me and Kel did that for about five years straight. Every Trust day, me, New Year's Shabs, shut it up. Shut it up. New Year's Eve, get in there about quarter to twelve, buy a bottle of Shabs and just walk around with it like this. Just walk around Trust for the whole night. <laughs> Drinking warm Shabs. Oh, gosh, good old days, man. But yeah, man. Nah, it's, but like I said, it's a, it's a good feel good. I think, I think, I hope it does. I hope it gets the credit that it deserves or the recognition that it deserves. I think they, they put a lot of work in there. I think it's good. It's good. Yeah, I'd say more of a, it's more of a garage crew than a grime crew. I think the title's a bit... I, I feel like that's that would turn a lot of people off because it doesn't... Like, grime kids. Like, for the average person in the UK, British, are they going to think, like, the music... How You know you know what I'm saying? How we would think of grime. Someone... Oh, I don't want to watch grime kids. Them dirty bastards. I don't know. I'm just saying. Grime <laughs> kids. Rich, Rich you what do you think? No, I don't. I don't like, did you no. know that that was what it was when you saw the the term grime kids? Did you think instantly Wiley and all them man? Yeah, because you... it came from the book. I read the book. Okay, okay. Yeah, I knew. I knew there was something being done regarding, um, regarding the book anyway. So I, I think, um, because there's a lot of people that, like, when grime was grime and it was really popular. People in America were jumping on grime, so they would still, they would still kind of like, oh, actually, grime kids. Oh, this is how grime came about. Do you, do you get what I mean? Oh, they, that's Wiley. So they'll relate to people who were at that time when grime was coming out, were like it was banging. So they understand how how things start, how things started. But I will just put a, a notable shout out to Bio. I thought Bio was sick. When he taught Kai how to start spitting, Bio, you smashed yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bio smashed it, bro. He smashed it. He did. If, if, if I had a kid like Bio, I would have been an MC like Kel, bro. I would have been, like, MC in, in the youth clubs. I think I could have been, I could have made it. At least to channel you. Shout out. Like, 